Um, uh, I need to pick up all these items, and then I need to figure out where my souls are. Wait, did I die before I got back to him? Yes, yes, I did die. Boss looks like a hassle. Uh, again, there are definitely ways you can make that boss uh, much easier if you, you know, if you use a bow, magic, um, if you know the boss's pattern better than I do. Oh, and those those leeches actually were uh, draining my health, but because I had the blessed mace, it was basically counteracting it. That's why I couldn't tell what the the leeches were doing. Oh. Shard of Sucker Stone. I do not remember what Sucker Stone is. Shard of Vampiric Ore that sticks to the skin. Enhanced curved swords, katanas, and so on. Uh, an ore that applies a strong bloodletting effect. Oh, bleed. Duh. Blessed Mace MVP, uh, in, d most definitely. I will not argue with that. The Blessed Mace has been incredibly good. Um, much better than I ever gave it credit for. Now, granted, like I said before, I haven't played this nearly as much as the other games, so I haven't tested out a lot of weapons, but uh, I just never... It never occurred to me that it would be this good. Yeah, I... I think I lost those souls. I I think I died in the Valley of Defilement before I got back to the boss, didn't I? Pretty sure I did. Weakling demon soul. Just doesn't sound right. <laughs> All right, first things first, got to repair. I can forge weapons for you for a fair price. Uh, there's the blue blood sword, um, but the the only other uh, blue uh, uh, or uh, moonlight blade. Uh, yeah, the, the blue blood sword is a, uh, is a difficult one to get. I think, if I remember right, it's a luck, uh, luck based weapon. And if I remember correctly, you need a broken sword in order to actually make it. Damn, my equipment took a beating. Do come back alive. I need your best. Hello, I'm keep. Although I don't think I grabbed anything that I need to deposit. Actually, uh, I think I'd pr I pretty much grabbed all the items that were in uh, that area. Oh, faintstone. Nice. I might be able to upgrade my... Um, oh, I picked up the Great Club. Uh, large wooden club enhanced with iron spikes among the larger weapons. Oh, wait. No, I already had the Iron Club. I, that's the second Iron Club because you get one in uh, Stonefang. Oh, I need to buy arrows. Yes, yes. I need to buy arrows. You have a hot. Uh, but I'm I'm gonna go to Shrine of Storms to buy arrows. I'm not gonna spend twenty. I'll spend ten, a piece. Uh, yeah. If I remember right, Moonlight Greatsword is uh magic based, like it is in every every game. Well, except for um. 
armor core. And armor core, I think it's just a, a regular sword. Satsuki. Uh, I didn't actually show it, but he, uh, when you first get to Shrine of Storms, he's standing up uh, uh, on top of a uh, top of a wall. And if I remember right, you need all black or all white world tendency to get him to uh, come down. I'll buy a hundred again. Why not? Do you have anything else that I might want? All done. Good day. Be sure not. Oh, you know what? I can also. Equip that to put the regenerator's ring back on. Alright, uh, go back to the Nexus. I think I'm gonna use some soul items and uh, level up. I don't know, try and level up two or three levels. Uh, and then head into uh, Shrine of Storms, actually. Uh, that way I can rescue St. Urbane and get some more miracles. Uh, he is in. He is in here. I don't remember where he's at actually. Oh wait, yeah, now I remember. Duh. <laughs> yes, yes, patches. There's lots of game. Yeah, there, there is. Uh, I'm... like when you think about each area, you're like, oh yeah, like there's you know, each area is broken up into four areas, and then like you actually think about running through those areas and uh, all the different stuff that there is. I mean, the different pathways that open up in all black or all white uh, tenants, uh, world tendency, like. But at the same time, if you think about the other games, there's still less in this game than there are in the other games. Like you, this game, you can really see where they were, where they kind of had the blueprint basically for the what the next games were going to be. Not necessarily what they were going to be, but what, like the the evolution of the the mechanics, I guess, would be the best way to put it. Ooh, 200 apiece. Wow. All right, 800 is not bad. Uh, I think it may seem like that just uh, because it's not it's not familiar. Um, let's see. What do I want to do? You go one more faith. Uh, yeah, HP. HP is good. Art thou done? Mean that Indeed I am. It's simple. And trade with your soul. Old one. Did I already repair? I did repair, okay. Uh can I upgrade? Oh right, I can't I can't upgrade uh I have to go to Ed in order to upgrade um and already enhanced weapons. So, like always, I'm just go ahead and spin the rest of that on uh on that and might as well do come wait there was still something I could buy for three with your... oh no it just was high never mind never mind all right uh shrine storms Uh, 
And then I think once I do Shrine of Storms, or at least once I rescue St. Urbane, um, I probably... I, I think I'm going to go uh, Baltaria 1-2. Uh, a couple games you can. A, a couple of them you can buy. Um, uh, Pris or not Prism Stones, but uh, uh, there, there's something in Dark Souls 3 you can buy for one. Alright, uh, hopefully I can do this fight relatively easily and not uh not get thoroughly jacked up although i usually would have the cat ring by now and i'm trying to remember where the cat ring is uh but i'm going to cheese this boss i think yeah normally i would have the cat ring by now But I, I do not remember where the cat ring is at. Oh, I got some kunai. Oh, did I, did I not equip him? I didn't equip him. Get away, get away. Oh, it's it's all right. Thank you though. Can I kill these guys? Oh yeah, they just don't take a lot of damage. I mean, the the one that I'm really going after is this guy down here, shit. That was kind of a pure accident. Uh, thanks, Patches. <laughs> Don't hold it against me, eh? Take your time, starving to death. Then I'll sell every last trinket off your corpse. <laughs> Well, we found St. Aramaid. But he can't leave because of that guy over by the door. Heavens, did you fall for that little devil's trap? Well, I did the same. He fooled me, and now I am stuck here. The reverberation seems to Patches suggest is an asshole. that we are connected to the outside. But dark, fearsome souls stand between us and freedom. But have no fear. God will cleanse us of evil. Pray with me. Umbasa. If, uh, if FromSoft holds with uh, certain traditions, whatever their next game will, is, will have a Patches and a Moonlight Greatsword. Heavens. Did you f well the Radar, but have... I remember driving myself crazy trying to figure out how to get that item. The first time I came through here. Just absolutely just could not figure it out. Alright, uh, so we're going to fight this guy. He's using dual katanas. Yeah, you actually have to fall on it from above. You know, I remember this guy being a lot more difficult. I'm just going to say it. Like, that was way, way easier than uh, I remember. Yes, yes. <laughs> not, not being able to figure out how to get an item is 
so aggravating. I want to say there's a secret wall in here, too. You guess you got good? I, I don't know if it's just that. But yeah, I remember that guy being way more difficult. Oh, it's you. Did you cleanse the world of another dark soul today? I did, God indeed. God has chosen you. And for that, we are thankful, Umbasa. Umbasa to you too. Let's get out of here. God has um. Oh yeah, yeah. You knew it was going to be in there, though. I mean, it, there was no way it wasn't going to be in there. I just warned one of these walls has a secret passage. You, you, hey, look, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean you're not thing. sorry. You're gonna do it again. I mean, a man's got to make a living, right? Here, look, I can make up for it. There aren't many humans like us. We need to stick together. I know. Here, take this as a token of my friendship. You've seen one of these before, surely. Ring of gash resistance. I believe that is uh, bleed resistance. <laughs> Come on. Let's be friends. What do you say? No need to drag each other down. Is he worth keeping alive? Uh, I think so. No need to drag each other down. I can't remember. I think he becomes a merchant in this one like he does in the other ones. Uh, but now for the, the real pain in the ass. I still have to fight these guys. Never mind. Yeah, I'm I'm not doing a lot of damage to that guy at all. Uh ring of gnash resistance. Gash resistance, excuse me. Uh soft ring bearing a bright red seal increases resistance against bleeding. Uh the steel's design is a fissure. Interesting. So, uh, a lot of these rings tell me that um, Jerry basically was the only person in the world of Baltaria that made made rings. Like, every ring you find was made by him. Oh, 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 shit. Shit. Uh, awesome, man. Thanks for uh, hanging out. Always appreciate it. Uh, Good conversation tonight, actually. Uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, but yeah, uh, have a good night, and uh, I will see you later. I'm going to continue to try and beat this guy. I don't remember this one being, or this guy being this difficult. 
Although I think I just shifted the shrine back to uh, neutral. I'm dead. <laughs> no. All right. Uh, yeah, two-handing uh, the weapon, definitely good. Uh, was able to stagger him. Uh, I just need to not get hit by that uh, magic attack, which is just messing me up. Alright, alright, I got this. I got this. Nothing is screwed. Everything is fine. Oh shit, you locked on to the wrong guy. I might as well. Uh, there is a hidden wall right here. <laughs> Should you believe that pep talk? Um, yes. Kind of. Mostly. Uh, soul item. I believe that's actually a, a really good soul item. Uh, and... What is over here? I do not remember what is over here. Oh, Crystal Blizzard. No, no, come back. Come back, Peck. No, son of a bitch. Oh, that sucks. I think that's one of the main reasons that they, um... Uh, that they changed it so that the Crystal Lizards will just give you what they, uh, the items that they have. Uh, you don't have to actually loot them because of, of stuff like that. Ah, uh, White Bow. Right, right. I, although I don't think I can actually use that. I, I shouldn't stand out there. Uh, I might get hit by one of those guys. Uh, white bow. Can I use it? No, no, I cannot use it at all. Uh, longbow made of gnarled wood. With two intertwining strings, it is a legendary weapon said to be impossible for a human to handle. It has a, a, an extremely long range. Uh, and it does uh, quite a bit of physical damage. Alright, uh, let's try, try and beat this guy again. I got fucked. 
I got I got completely screwed on that one. That was my own fault. That was my own fault. This isn't even a boss. This is just an enemy. Oh shit, I'm stuck between everybody. <laughs> you know, I wonder how many souls I had uh, from the the dark phantom or the red phantom that I killed oh well oh god oh god the the lid the lid screwed me There we go. Shard of Darkstone. Or Dark Moonstone, excuse me. It's full moon grass. Uh, I think there's one more item in here. Around the edges. No. Was it over here? Pretty sure there is something over here. Oh wait, that goes back up to there and okay, right, I know I know where I need to go. Uh back over here. Somehow I took no damage from that fall. That was pretty pretty amazing. Uh, I don't know about thorough playthrough. Uh, I, I'm trying to be as thorough as I can be. Um, I should have known better. I should have known better. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I uh, either just don't know about this game or don't remember about it. Uh, I do know a lot about it just from, you know, secondhand knowledge, um, stuff like that, but, uh, a lot of, a lot, of, like, it's, it's funny. I remember a lot of the areas, but I don't remember a lot of the strategies or, or where specific items are. There, there's definitely some items that I remember specifically what they are. Um, I am, I'm definitely not going to mess with that guy and immediately run and grab my experience first. I would say this is also probably, probably one of the best places to, um, to farm. Like, uh, basically, or, uh, farming this guy right here for the, the, like, 45,000, 47,000, whatever it is that he gives you. Although realistically, I suppose it's not him that's giving you the uh, the experience. It's all of the other guys dying that's giving you the experience, technically. But still, a really good place to farm, uh, especially if you can uh, if you can get through and beat Adjudicator in the very beginning of the game, which it really isn't that difficult. Um, really good place to farm, and if you've got a really good bow, makes it even easier.
Uh, skeletons. Shit. That was close. That was close. Uh, these skeletons are definitely a bit stronger than the uh, the ones at the beginning of Shrine of Storms. This is really not interesting. <laughs> Uh, you know, I think it was supposed to be. I, I think it was supposed to be miserable and intentionally. Maybe not to the extent that uh, some people find it, but I, I think it was meant to have a, like, a, not a, a pleasant uh, feeling. Ouch. I thought for sure I was going to be able to stun those guys. I did not. What the build am I aiming for? Um, it's kind of become a uh, a miracle uh, build. I didn't actually have a plan for it uh, initially. I don't know where the hell he was aiming, but he completely missed me. Uh, and apparently a very, very consistent uh, source of uh, Dark Moon Shard. Shards, excuse me. That is plural. Okay, one. Shit, I should have known. I thought I was far enough away. Oh, I really hate, really hate back rolling on these cliffs. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Let me heal. Whew. I gotta say, heal spells in this game work so much better right off the bat than they do in uh, Dark Souls. Oh, what'd you drop? Uh, Bladestone. Alright. Not bad. Okay, I need to I need to pull one of these guys cuz I can't take both of them on at the same time. Come on, let's uh let's go up here. Although what's really surprising is the the uh, uh, sky beasts have not uh, or storm beasts uh, have not attacked me up here, which is really strange. Normally they would be uh, shooting uh, lances at you. Get the backstab. How much do you give for experience? 1944. Nice, nice. Yeah, really, really good place to farm, I would say. Oh, wait, can I not go through here? No, okay, I can. I can. Uh, I know there's certain point, cutoff points where you have to do some other stuff before the game will actually let you progress. Uh, where am, where am I? Oh, this place, this place. Okay, okay, I remember this place.
Try to roll, uh, try to dodge that. Okay. You know, I think uh, I think lightning works really well on these guys if there is even light. No, wait, no, there's not lightning in this game. What am I thinking of? Um, I don't like those guys. I don't like those guys. Uh, did I play Neo? Yes, yes, I, I played... Uh, actually, Neo was the very first game I ever streamed. Um, I, have I have yet to actually go through the DLCs uh, 1 and 2. Uh, I'm thinking when DLC, when the last DLC comes out, I'll do a, uh, a full playthrough of it again, plus the, the DLCs. But no, I, I really like Neo. I, I think Neo is a, a great game. Overview is toy. What's going on? How you been? Dragon's Dogma? Yeah, I can't wait for that. I'm, I'm hoping that I can pick it up when it, uh, when it comes out. I mean, I already own it on 360 and on PC, so I don't really need to buy it again on PS4. Uh, but it's much easier to stream on a uh, stream it on a console than just to stream it off of my computer while playing it. Tired of how streaming? Uh, streaming is pretty good. Uh, I took a little bit of time off and uh, came back to it uh, yesterday and had a had a really good stream. It was it was cool. They'll probably the same fellow. <laughs> this will be the third time that I have run through these guys. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh god. Get away. Get away. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Damn. I am so glad that arrow didn't hit me because that would have been like 20,000 souls gone. Look at that heal. Now that's what I call a heal. We live. Oh yes, yes, we we live. Okay, kind of. the The gold uh, gold knights are are gonna either be a pain in the ass or uh, will. Oh, you know that is one thing that's kind of annoying about uh, about the bow in Demon Souls is you don't actually shoot where the reticle is sometimes. Hey. Hey, get back over here. See, like, I... You know what? That might have actually been why I was uh, missing arrows on the... Um, the the writhing demon or rig wriggling demon, whatever he's actually called. Uh, one of you, please, get over here. Oh, that's bad. Oh shit. Ooh, damn. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, my, uh, mine was a little, definitely more of a, uh, I, 
I was starting to, to feel like I was streaming because I had to, not because I wanted to. Oh, that, that tracking. Um, okay. Works for me. Alright, um, I need to try and just run past this guy. Yeah, yeah. Dragon's Dogma is one of the most underrated RPGs of the last 10 years. That's how I would describe it. Such a good game, though. Shit, I died. Oh, it's such a good game. Such a good game. Damn, I died again. I really dislike that area. Shit. Well, there goes 30,000. Um, it is a, it's what happens when a Japanese company makes a Western RPG. You know, it, like it, they're, the, the, class, the difference between, you know, the, the design difference between a, a JRPG and a Western RPG. Um, but yeah, it's, it's basically Capcom making a Western style RPG, but still having that very Japanese sense to it and uh, kind of game design to it. But really, really good. Uh, third, uh, I mean, it's it's uh, third person. Um, you have direct control of your character. Uh, it uses a uh, action game control scheme where uh, you have a light attack, heavy attack. Uh, but then you also have uh, classes which have uh, abilities that you can assign to different buttons. Uh, it's it's so good. It's so good. Uh, so there's also there's a whole like climbing mechanic where you can climb onto there's like really big monsters in the game dragons cyclopses I mean like huge monsters and you can climb on top of them and uh, like climb up to their head and attack them in the eye uh, and they'll they'll have different AI patterns and behaviors depending on uh, like if you're climbing on them if you damage their eye if you broke armor off of them. Um, Every time I talk about Dragon's Dogma, I want to play it. Like, that's that's how good of a game it is. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it, there's definitely uh, a bit of Shadow of the Colossus in there with that aspect. Um, there's... Uh, I mean, it's... It's hard to, like, describe it without actually seeing it because there's a there's a ton of mechanics at play there's a, a huge crafting uh element to it there is a uh a, a giant like number of items and different things that you can get there's uh a, like you have to manage your your carry weight uh there's um uh you like food if you if you like go and pick grapes off of a bush if you let them sit in your inventory they will they'll go bad and you can still get benefits from them but not nearly as much of a benefit as if they had been fresh um so there's actually like spoilable items that you can get um it's there's there's so much to that game though it's 
it's kind of difficult to really uh, describe everything that is in there. Uh, the day night cycle is amazing because at nighttime it gets dark. I mean, like really, really dark and you get different enemies and uh, um, uh, different enemies and, and different uh, kind of stats uh, potentially at nighttime or daytime, depending on how you built your character uh, and what class you're playing. Uh, but nighttime zombies will come out uh, like really dark to the point where if you do not have a lantern, you can't see. Was it promising survival horror? Yeah, yeah. I mean, your your oil, uh, your lantern has oil that you have to refill. Uh, getting uh, like water if you get wet it'll have different effects on your uh on spells that you cast or spells that you receive as far as uh the enemies cast on you there's uh, the character creation is actually incredibly in depth um you can you can spend hours creating a character and then another like four hours creating your pawn uh that's another thing it has an uh a system where you basically create your own party um, with you control one character and then there's three AI controlled characters that actually do a really good job. Uh, they're a little talkative, but they do a really good job with the uh, with like as far as being an AI companion, they will actually attack enemies. Um, but you create a pawn, which uh, when you play the game, anybody can recruit your pawn. And then once they recruit your pawn and they do quests with them, that your pawn will gain knowledge so when you start the game up your pawn will come back with quest knowledge so like if you need to go to a certain cave in order to you know um investigate something your pawn will actually be like oh hey i know where that is it's over here and we'll kind of guide you where to where it is there's a, there were so many just awesome ideas that that came out but it, it, it I don't know why a lot of people didn't like it, though. Path of Exile, Western RPGs. Um, no, not really. Uh, it definitely doesn't have the customization that Path of Exile has. Because you, you are playing a character. Uh, you are playing a, uh, uh, a class. Um, but I would say, aside from like an MMO character creation, it probably has one of the deepest character creations that, uh, that I've seen in a console game. Yeah, there's. I really should just do a stream of it, uh, you know, and just just start it up and play uh, on my uh, on my existing character. Uh, that's the other thing. You only you oh you get one save file, so you can't. Uh, unfortunately, you can't have like a ton of different characters. You can kind of game it on PC by uh, switching out save folders, uh, but it's way more hassle and potential uh, corruption of your data than I think it's worth. Um, but there's uh, there's a there's a, a an add-on called Bitter Black Isle that you're not even recommended to go in there until you've actually beat the game once, uh, once through. Like it's there's just there's so much to do in that game. It's so awesome. Yeah, yeah. Want to make another Strider? Uh, did you play the um, 2015 uh, version that came out? Oh yeah, and there's some there's some really, and that's another thing. Like the the quests in the game are actually really good. Like you, and it's it's one of, it's a game where you have to you have to prepare for your quest. Like you have to make sure that you take certain healing material or certain healing items with you. You have to make sure you have uh, uh, the right weapons with you. Like there's a lot of like actual preparation to going to your destination and coming back. Like traveling there is half the fun. <laughs> Too much KFC. Nice, nice. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a smoke break real quick. 
A bit like XCOM? Um, kind of. I mean, definitely not to that extent, I don't think. Well, actually, I don't know. Um... God, it's it's so much easier to explain it when you actually see it. But uh, yeah, I should just do a uh, I should just do a stream of it just to kind of show it off because a lot uh, there's a lot of people that haven't played it. Um, yeah, uh, it kind of yeah. I mean, like, and that's the thing: the character classes. Like you, you are playing that class. Like a wizard is a wizard. You are squishy, but you have a lot of utility. And then there's sorcerers who are the next class above, uh, and they. They are straight up glass cannons. Um, yeah. Oh, damn. All right. Uh, I'll be back in uh, in a few minutes. Uh, I'm going to go smoke real quick, and uh, we can continue talking about uh, Dragon's Dogma while playing Demon Souls. Damn it. Now I want to play Dragon's Dogma. Look what you have done, insane. I hope you are proud. Uh, Alright, I'll be right back. <laughs> 